Hello, hello everybody, this is TipTopMTG here today with another Magic the Gathering video. In today's video, I am going to be talking about how standard rotation works, and how it is specifically going to work in 2020. Standard rotation is a massive shift in what is legal and standard that occurs every year with the release of the fall set. Last year, rotation happened with the release of Throne of Eldraine, and this year it will happen with Zendikar Rising. Generally, whenever a standard set is released, it causes major change within the standard meta and increases the power level. Rotation is the time where that power level can be decreased by rotating out 4 sets from the meta. You go from 8 full size sets to just 5. So let's break down exactly what happens. When Zendikar Rising is released, Guilds of Ravnica, Ravnica Allegiance, War of the Spark, and Corsair 2020 will no longer be legal and standard. The sets that will be legal and standard will be Throne of Eldraine, Theros Beyond Death, Ikoria Layer of Behemoths, Corset 2021, and Zendikar Rising. That means there will never be a time where both Guilds of Ravnica and Zendikar Rising are in the same standard. This leads to massive changes in the standard meta, as not only are about 300 new cards added, but also about 1200 cards are also leaving standard, meaning you can no longer use them in your decks. Obviously, these cards are still legal in non-rotating formats like Modern, Historic, and Pioneer. Looking into the future, the standard rotation after this year's rotation will be in Fall of 2021. There are no other rotation periods, and all sets that are legal alongside Zendikar Rising will be legal and standard until that date. That means that once we get to the Fall set of 2021, there will again be 8 sets in standard, and at that point, Throne of Eldraine, Theros Beyond Death, Ikoria, Layer of Behemoths, and Core Set 2021 will rotate out. But hey, that's pretty far away, and we really only need to worry about this rotation. That was a basic overview as to how rotation works. However, I'm not done yet. This next section will cover some frequently asked questions where I talk about just questions you might have. Uh, obviously, these are not all the questions, so if you have any questions I don't talk about here, please leave them in the comments down below. I would be more than happy to answer them. Rotation can give some people a little bit of confusion as it is a massive change and can majorly affect the game, so it's important to, that you fully understand. So question one, how does this affect other rotating formats such as Brawl? Brawl will also see a rotation and all cards within the set will be rotating out similar to standard. On top of that, any cards added to the Brawl format by MTG Arena's Brawler's Guild Hall event will no longer be legal due to that event's discontinuation. That means that there's no more Brawler's Guild Hall and no more new cards being added to Brawl through that mean. Question 2. How does this affect Historic on MTG Arena? Similar to other formats, the only change to Historic with the Zendikar Rising release will be the addition of Zendikar Rising. Historic is a non-rotating format, which means sets never rotate out. What's legal now will be legal in the future as long as it doesn't get banned or suspended. What this means for Historic is that there will be an even bigger difference between it and Standard. Question 3. What if a card is printed in a set that is rotating out and in a set that is currently not rotating out? For example, Shock was printed in Core Set 2020, which is rotating, and Core Set 2021, which is not. Shock will remain legal and standard, and may be used in any variation of it. If you prefer the art of Shock from M20 over M21, you are more than welcome to use that version even though M20 is rotating out. On top of that, if you don't have 4 copies of the newer printed card, you can still use the older version. No need to go get some more temples, just use the ones you got from M20. Question 4. I have been playing MTG Arena, and now half of my cards are going to be useless and standard. What can I do? MTG Arena does an event called Renewal when rotation happens. Essentially, they are going to give out more rewards to help kickstart your new collection and help you build some new decks. This is often in the form of wildcards, events, and additions to the Mastery Pass, so keep an eye out for more information. Obviously, more information is coming every day, and if there is any more news, I will leave that in the comments down below so that you guys can stay up to date. Honestly, rotation is the thing I see most people mess up on. You know, I'll be browsing Reddit, and I'll see, oh, why are these cards still legal? I thought it rotated with the last set. And I think that if we can get everyone to understand rotation and just make sure that rotation is clear, we'll end up with a better game in the end. Either way, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you found it useful, please hit that like button. And if you want to find more awesome content like this, please hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed, also leave a comment, let me know. 
and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.